What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Fudge Muppet. This is the Elder Scrolls Podcast. I'm Scott, here with Michael and Drew, as always. And today, we have a little bit of a fun, sort of challenge one. We are ranking Skyrim cities. And... That's it. We're basically going to use <laughs> <laughs> using things like um, we're basically looking, you know, the aesthetic, the architecture, the kind of look of it, the feel, the vibe, the atmosphere. But then we can also factor in things like sort of quests and so on, and and characters, or you know, even moments or so on. This is largely a subjective list. Yeah, and and so. I guess I'd also say that it's kind of set during the time that Elder Scrolls V Skyrim takes place. You know, hence yeah. you said the quests. So. We can include, like, lore and stuff as well, but I think at the end of the day, there will be some cities that may have sounded really, really cool in the lore, but we're going to weigh what the reality was when we played Skyrim heavier than what it was meant to be like. For a place like Winterhold, where the former capital Mm. of Skyrim, where half of it has, you know been a part of that great collapse that destroyed the city we can't really give it credit for being wait, a wait, formally wait. good city wait wait you don't have a winter hold in your top three yeah I, <laughs> well, believe it or not hold on. Let, let, let's let's so let, let's be real i don't think personally this is a first take let's like see if we can divide it we can sort of start with even the bottom of the list but let's I just th- quickly say all the cities are included too you know even the little ones the well, mi- minor cities major cities whatever you want to call them yeah well look all the whole capitals Star, on the list. Mm-hmm. Yeah, all of the whole capitals. And what I was going to sort of say is clearly Markarth, Solitude, Windhelm, Whiterun, and Riften are superior in terms of their like execution, their aesthetic. And stuff. Like they, they have had way more attention to detail and so on. Maybe I can be swayed either way, but I don't think any of the um, others really peak up. But let's actually talk about, because well, I think they would be at the bottom half of the list. The sort of your Falkreath, your Morthal, Winterhold, Dawnstar. I think they are uh, the bottom of the list. And personally, I'm, I'm going to throw in starters out. I actually think Winterhold's the worst. Like, outside of the college of Winterhold... <laughs> I, I, I don't think I agree with that. Because Ooh. what else... Because for me, the personal thing I would say about that, with I know I understand the college of Winterhold's there, but, like, that's almost like, oh, the faction's, like, okay, it's, like, a major thing. But outside of that, Winterhold is, like, dead. There is, like, one shop and, like, one bar with barely anything happening in it. And uh, I... Yeah. I think you have to include the faction headquarters as part of the city for sure. Mm. Like Riften having the Thieves Guild is definitely part of it. I mean, yeah. simply put, I know this is more of an architecture thing. It's so hard to ignore and it's not hidden. I mean, neither is the College of Winterhold, but you wouldn't exclude Yorvaska from Whiterun, right? Like that's yeah. a pretty like central part of the city. And the fact that the companions are there is cool. Um, despite all the problems we've talked about with the companion storyline. It's cool. It definitely well, adds. Winterhold will lose points because there's much less to do there. But there's something about the kind of, you know, the, the, the buildings that are halfway down this cliff and there's like, you know, parts of it that have crumbled and fallen into the, the Sea of Ghosts. Mm-hmm. Gives it some credit for just having an, a, a very interesting atmosphere. But just make well, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't conflate to say, it too like, much with the mod because <laughs> yeah. in the vanilla Skyrim, there's barely any buildings. There's uh, a few cracked walls. And that them. was one of my concerns yeah, is yeah, that yeah, I've yeah. been playing a modded version uh-huh. of Skyrim yeah. for so many years that it probably looks a bit worse I was gonna, I remember. I was going to say that like mods would change my ranking list completely. Dude. If we used our current Skyrim setup, yeah, different story. Winterhold is proper, like a few farm buildings, a few burnt out ones. And then the College of Winterhold mm. and like okay, the Yalta. Okay. But, not, but it's why nothing... is Dawnstar better? Like, oh, remem- I just... hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, Remembering okay. that Winterhold has the college and everything mm. in the college and the aesthetic of the college going out. Why is Dawnstar, which, you know, is meant to be some big trading hub and it's not, oh, of course. you know, the yeah. vibe's there, but it's nothing crazy. Why does Dawnstar stand out? To me, I like it for the Nightcrawler Temple quest and also when you go to the Dawnstar Museum and that's the whole Mythic Dawn sort of set off and also Some it's where house. the Dark Brotherhood Sanctuary is by the end of it mm-hmm, mm-hmm, and so on. on. So it's got these like little things going for it. Um, I don't, by the way, Dawnstar is 100% not like any top tier city on my list. I, I guess I just... what we have to talk about then is are we including quests that you get there? Because when I think of and then they take you somewhere else. I suppose you'd have to. But in my head, I'm thinking like, for example, Force One Conspiracy, a lot of that takes place in Markarth. Mm. The, the haunted house there um, yeah. f- for Moleg Bow's quest is, is, is there. Whereas I, the, Nightcaller Temple is not in Dawnstar. I, w- I would, it I does would overlook say, it though. 
I yes. would kind of say, I would say you extend it out a little bit if the quest mm. is For example, I wouldn't mind if you said the Dark Brotherhood Sanctuary attached to Falkreath or something, or even the Clavicus yeah. Vile quest. Or um, consider things like uh, Morvath's Lair for more for the Markarth quest. Okay, like it's I agree. so attached. For Morthal, yeah. Yep. For Morthal, sorry. Yeah, sorry. Okay. Okay. So you reckon that defeats Winterhold? I think so. But then again, but like, okay, well, let's like cycle through that. I don't think Falkreath is the bottom of the list for no. sure. Morthal's a contender. Why not? Why not? Morthal oh, is bottom. Because Falkreath is really cool in the law, but it's literally no, just, no, no. But it's, you it's, get there and you're like, still oh, my back in Riverwood. Oh, oh, it's a bigger Riverwood. It's Falkreath. Look, look yeah, the have vibes. You seen the dog. The forest of the environment, <laughs> also the Sinding quest, the whole werewolf, like the vibe of that area when you first go in there and it's like you get the werewolf quest yeah, they and you're put like in two, this big they, The reason area. they put two Daedric Prince quests there is because it's boring. Yeah. They were like, we need to make this better, so we're going to put Clavicus Vile like, and uh, Hercene's quest. Ultimately, in out of them, I think it comes, it's like, it's the environment and atmosphere is a big <laughs> part of it, for sure. Like, they're just, it's, it's the most dense forest area that you kind of kind of get so out of I all of them. Put Personally, Dawnstar and Morphal would both be at the bottom for me because that not only are they boring, but they barely look any different to each other, in my opinion. You know, unless you give Morphal the credit for all the swamp land nearby. It's the mo- kind the of Morphal terrible. mod is pretty good at mm. at making yeah. it more Morphally. Morphal's pretty like Look, Morthal does have Fally in there. It does have some of the spooky quest things. Mm-hmm. I actually also really like the Jarl. Like the idea that she's sort of this seer or so, and she's one of the more mm-hmm. in- the Igrod Raven crone. Like she's one of the more interesting Jarls. Um, but I don't know. Maybe it's maybe it's just my own like head. But like I feel like there's more going on in Dawnstar than there is Morthal. I feel like Morthal yeah. is literally go in and you do that. You either you cure a vampire with Falion or you do the, the you ghost stop quest. The, but that quest is pretty cool. But yeah, there's yeah. not a whole lot there going on. But there's not much in Dawnstar. There's the Dreams quest and Dagon's quest. Again, and the two Daedric Prince quests put somewhere boring. And um, a Dark Brotherhood sanctuary there. And, and even, even yeah. Dawnstar in terms of atmosphere, and I know it's such a small thing, but when you first walk in and you have the Jarl fighting with the Imperial um, dude and saying, oh, like, you know, why does he still wear that armor? That kind of thing. Like, I don't know, like you feel... Those little moments and stuff and interactions mm-hmm. in the cities do help give it a little bit more life, which I think... I can only yeah, think of Dawnstar. Yeah, it seem like the city is alive before well, you get there. The biggest okay. problem with me for Cop for Winterhold is Winterhold feels lifeless. I mean, arguably, even the College of Winterhold feels lifeless itself out of all the yeah. factions. So, I think to- that's what gives if- it a specific vibe for me. Okay. To interrupt, but that that yeah, weirdly, I would play that into why I find Winterhold a bit more interesting. I guess it's just not what I'm looking dynamic. for in a city. It's because the mm. quest line was not good. I yeah. reckon if the Win- College of Winterhold was legitimately like a star of a faction and you were just in love with how much but fun see, you had playing it, you would rank Winterhold But it, I higher. don't know if you're how much I'm letting the quests actually like, the quest, uh, like the factions. Like for it's, example, it's Companions isn't the sell for Whiterun for me. No. Like that, that you could remove but your, your Vasca arguably could be a big argument for Whiterun. Uh, to because be honest, like I'm going to be real plain. Like the White Run stuff for me is that it looks like Edoras, and it's such a mm. center of the entire world and overlooking the plains. It's the environment, the theme, the vibe. It's, the... it's seeing it on the horizon that yeah. kind of makes that 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 will be one of the reasons why White Run gets more. Credit. And it has way more intention attention in terms of things going on, like the Grey Main sort of Battleborn kind of stuff. It's centered around the main quest. Mm-hmm. Okay, kinda... I, I have a confession to make. Okay. <laughs> I'd probably rank Winterhold last. I've just yeah. been playing devil's advocate, I'd... but I'm not sure. I, uh, can, uh, it's down there with Morthal and 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 Dawnstar still. I just don't think it's that great. Although, let me ask you this, and this everyone in the audience, I want to know: Have you been to jail in Winterhold? You probably haven't. You probably don't know where it is, uh, because. Why would you get in trouble with the law in Winterhold, right? There's not mm. a whole lot going on there. But there is a jail, and this may be a things you, you thought you knew everything about Skyrim and now you learnt something new, but there is the chill. The chill is basically the Winterhold jail located on an island northeast of the College of Winterhold. 
And that's where you're sent if you're arrested. Oh in my Winter god, Hold. is that the one with the with the shrine? I know the location. I think you know the is, chill where, is not marked. It's not marked on the map. Yeah, but there is. Is there a shrine? I swear, I know. I swear, I know the I location where that. the jail's like out on the land. I've been there so many times. Yeah, Winterhold like, is I've, definitely. I've not never last. been in jail. Yeah, Winterhold's not last. Because I mean, like that on top. But I was, I was going to say anyway that really, if you think of the most iconic images of Skyrim, I think the College of Winterhold on that spike of land is one of the coolest sights in the whole game I can't, in my opinion I, yeah, I can't do it i can't put it last no nah. scott you you i mean i don't mind i don't ha- i don't have to it could be i mean i can see you tearing last. up a bit <laughs> <laughs> I, what, okay how about this for a suggested or- order if i was just to throw it and then we can workshop it mortal last winter hold mm-hmm. dawnstar for Kreef. But why is Dawnstar better? I just I can't see Dawnstar as better. But I'll I'll accept it. Than Morthal. Then Morthal. Then oh, then College of Winterhold. Oh, yeah. I think to me it's just because think honestly- of the environment around it too. Like if you include all those ice, like the the kind of glacier top area of Winterhold and um like the Sig- Septimus Sigmus outpost and uh, I think Njol's Barrows up there and all that kind of stuff. I guess if you there just asked me where I'd rather there. live, I'd rather yeah, live we're in Dawnstar. It on, but no, but it is. It's a- atmosphere <laughs> no, and vibe and so on. Atmosphere and vibe. Like, I don't know. Dawnstar to me still at least feels like, I know they're all like not as good as a proper city. It's like a town, but it feels like a town. My problem with College of Winterhold is it doesn't feel like a city at all, let alone a town almost. Like it's got like four people. Like it's so... But you wouldn't want to live in... Uh... You wouldn't. Yeah. You'd probably rather live in Falkreath than than Winter. Uh, sorry, than uh, Windhelm, for example, because yeah, Windhelm's yeah, yeah. a pretty miserable. But, place, but there's but other things going higher. for it. Yeah, I understand that. You, it's yeah. all of this is a subjective collection of things. But I'm just saying that Winterhold as a city, where ranking cities, I, it is the abysmal for me. It's just because it's basically not a city. It's basically the College of Winterhold. Hold on, hold on. We're not ranking it on how city like. Not how it is. city it is, but I'm just <laughs> saying my problem is we're ranking cities, and it's the least city of the cities. So my my <laughs> only my main counter to that would be that size irrelevant. If we if we if we are going to throw any bones to Bethesda for like they kind of limited this whether it be time or technology but what what it's kind of supposed to give you as a player when you go there if you let your imagination take over a bit the atmosphere and vibe of winterhold even though it's depressing is far more memorable than dawnstar or morthal by the end of this um, podcast i will have winterhold ranked number 1 and no there's way. nothing you can do i just I, I i cannot justify having winterhold higher than second last like uh, I could be convinced others, but like no way. You're gonna tell me it's better than Falkreath, Dawnstar, and Morthal. Yep. <laughs> no, <laughs> not Falkreath. <laughs> not better than Falkreath. I think Falkreath is. Mm. I would put Morthal last, Dawnstar second last, then Winterhold, and then, then Fal- Falkreath. That's the list I've got built here on this little notepad I've opened up. Okay. Mm. It's kind of like my. Uh, list that synthesizes all of our thoughts but let's move on okay let's well, forget well, these minor cities for a bit then, we can always come back yeah yeah well okay so what what, what do we got at the moment are we going to run with what that we've got our bottom three yeah what's the bottom more Morthal. Morthal, then dawn star then winter hold then fall creed <laughs> you don't agree with this so so much i don't know let's, i let's just, just leave i, I hope i let's hope i do back. get vindicated in the comments and that there's people that are like i hope i'm not the only one that's like winter holds not a good city but it's not like it's but a pretty it, but it but it beats it has to win on on i don't know i yeah all right Ugh. okay all right and that's the that's the way to get vindicated is you say that so mm. then everyone heads down mm. and they're like me and all my homies hate Winterhold. If you disagree with Scott, just comment and dislike. <laughs> Before the dislike bar disappears. No, don't do that. Yeah, okay. Right. Let's, let's just talk about major cities for a second. Because, you know, you've got Windhelm, Riften, Solitude, Whiterun. I'm just writing them in order. I, okay, well, we can... Or should we talk about why Falkreef is better than those three? Okay. What? Because <laughs> we haven't actually talked about Falkreath at all. We did oh, a bit. Oh, about the a little thing. bit. Oh, my main thing is honestly, it is honestly just the environment around it's beautiful as the main part mm-hmm. of it. And if you do with the lore part of a component, I know it's obviously in terms of execution, it's just a graveyard, but it does have this sort of like shtick as, as being like it's fought over all the time. I also like in its lore that it's like was like a Clovian estate mm-hmm. and then it's been a Nordic estate and so on. Um, Nordic uh, 
hold sorry also the whole like werewolf quest and so on like and you and you go around in the in the dog the it starts there but it's not huge but then there's also the dark brotherhood sanctuary which is really close and you go in the forest it's sort of the whole I, I just think that if you took out those daedric prince quests and scattered them around somewhere else in sky yeah but that's what the... you would be left with is another rorikstead type place that no one really cares about no, but it's it's just more beautiful as all. Well, really, mm. it's ulti- uh, like ultimately, I think it's. Just, I think it's beautiful. Like, what would you? Okay, Michael, I honest, just think what it's would not you unique. put it as? What would you put Falkreath out of those bottom four? You put it what bottom? I don't know. Like, <laughs> potentially, even though that feels extremely wrong to say, I just think that it is not unique as far as the other ones go. And okay, there's a small graveyard. Morthal stands out as unique. You you could never run into Morthal or Dawnstar and think to yourself. I've just stumbled upon another river ward or another Rorikstead or another settlement. If if I didn't mark Falkreath as a... If it wasn't marked on the map as like a key city and you didn't know about it in the lore, you could just think this is a big river ward. Yeah, but like, for example, if you're ranking towns, Easily. like Riverwood's a beautiful town. Mm. A it, beautiful it, city. I'm, like, I'm I would, not that's saying kind of it's what not it, beautiful, but I can't... If there's all these other places in Skyrim that like, look like can it, we be frank? Like, like the mill by the comparison, and things like, that. like all the other cities are ugly by comparison. Dawnstar, Morthal, mm. and Winterhold. Easy. I don't know if I'd say that. I, I just oh, think sorry, Dawnstar and Morthal are just extremely similar, and they both detriment each other for that reason for me. Because they, whereas all... at least Falkreef stands out as its own city. I know it looks a bit <laughs> like Riverwood. But... At least Falkreef does actually have like its own, like a like the the Jarls thing was a little. The headquarters mm. is a little bit taller and looks a little yeah. So it's like but... <laughs> it's like Riverwood for five seconds, and you're like, wait a minute, but it's this no. isn't Riverwood. No, it's the gate. But dude, saying that anyway <laughs> is only a sell to me anyway because Riverwood is a really cool town. I think it is a unique looking town. I think Dawnstar looks closer to like Rorikstead. Take Rorikstead, just put it in the snow because it's just plain all around it. It's just like plain. But, just I mean, there's literally the color boats part. on the there's literally boats on the water at Dawnstar. Yeah. Yeah. But I'm just, what I'm trying to say is like, we're not, look, none of these cities in terms of just like literally each individual buildings look that unique at all. Except you go Winterhold as the College of Winterhold there. But outside of that, it's all that basic farm building look. So a lot of what you're looking at in terms of just the aesthetic of it is like, it's layout and what's around it and so on. Who who would have thought that the bottom four would be so controversial? (laughs) I, 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 I thought this would be okay. something we just skip past. Of the bottom four, the I think Falkreath is the top, in my opinion. And Drew, mm-hmm. if you agree that that would give it top place on our on our cope list. Look, if it was if I had to choose, it would be that or Winterhold, but I'm not gonna try and push Winterhold higher. Then then so, yeah. then Falkreath can win and Winterhold clearly takes a second. Mm-hmm. Okay. I mean, look, dude, I'm not that invested in the bottom of the list. They're all kind of poorly done by comparison to the others, so... <laughs> Part of me wants to rank Morthal above Dawnstar, but I don't nah, think Nah, there's can. just not enough... I, don't, I, I, just, don't... I just really... It's only because I really like the whole Movar Slayer mm-hmm. kind of thing, but I know that's very not what Morthal's about, so I'm happy to put it at the end. I just got more of a... It, it's probably nostalgia... I got more of a memorable vibe from this strange, you know, red guard wizard and, and it's all in the swamps and spooky and there's, mm. you know, this whole like house burnt down quest that leads you mm. into this whole vampire conspiracy to like infect the town. I found that quite interesting. I guess I wonder how this will like factor into you guys, but I really do like cities for being cities as part of it. So I want there to be, <laughs> He's a, obsessed with I want cities. there to be an atmosphere of a city. So when you go to Dawnstar, there's like, there's the Dawnstar museum. There's like, Oh, there's this whole nightmares plaguing the thing. There's a little political conflict when you first oh, come dude. in that sort of establishes yeah. things. There's the mines going on. It kind of feels like a, a, a city. Whereas more mm-hmm. you go in, and I don't even know if there's barely any shops by comparison, but you, you it's very like, the, mm. It's different. It's a cool place, but as a, as a as a city, I think it's the less, and that's the same reason I don't like College of Winterhold as much. No, that makes sense. All right, we can put we can put Morthal last. We'll put Dawnstar and Winterhold on like equal playing ground for now, and then Falkreath at the top. I mean, you really do need a marketplace if you're going for that that city aesthetic like really, if we boiled it down, we could say if we're ranking Skyrim cities, none of them would qualify. <laughs> Except maybe Solitude. Um, what even marketplace? But, Solitude White Run has one as well. No, no, I'm saying I'm sa- that's why I'm saying more for that. Some of these smaller cities don't feel like cities because oh, you kind of okay. need that place where people go 
and and interact yeah. with each but other that's, without that's what, you. So, you know, that's the other thing I think that makes Dawnstar feel a little bit better to me is that it's kind of got that like upper row and then there's the lower mm-hmm. row around the docks. It yeah, feels yeah. like there's a little bit. There's Whereas Morthal is well. kind of, you walk in, there's a the little bit around the water and you go across the bridge and it literally is just one house in vanilla yeah, Skyrim yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. versus, you know, Winterhold. It's literally one shop, one bar with a Yarl thing next to it, a path to the College of Winterhold, which is the only reason you're in Winterhold. Look, I guess at the but, end of the day, we all enjoy all that have enjoyed all the cities of skyrim and i think i can put my fond memories of morthal behind me and put it at the bottom of the list easily scott is slowly tempting me to put dawn star above winter hold but i think we'll move on and come back yeah all right well what do we think i'll hear your guys opinions on what do you think is the bottom of the the top five the well executed that's series? actually tough because i i love them all for different reasons Mm. Um, and I can really get into the mood of a certain city or even a, a playthrough that I had. For example, I absolutely love Riften heavily because I had that Argonian playthrough who lived in Honeyside and was a, like an Argonian frost mage with alchemy. It's so random, but it was one of my, if not my favorite playthrough of Skyrim. Mm. And so I have a lot of fond memories of Riften specifically. Um, despite knowing that it's probably not as cool as some of the other cities on paper. I'm tempted. No one said this because I asked on Twitter, what's your favorite city? And I'm not surprised everyone was like, White Run, White Run, White Run, which I think White Run's cool, but I probably wouldn't put it at the top. So um, I would agree that, you know, there's something special about White Run because I'd say it's probably the city I've spent the most time in yeah. casually playing. Yeah. And, and, you know, obviously when you first play the game back in 2011 and you leave Riverwood and you kind of come over that rise and it drops down into the into the plains and you've got, as Scott said, the Edoras style um, city just sitting there in the middle, that stronghold where you can see dragons reach, reaching up into the sky. It's, it's, it's amazing experience. Yeah. Where but did you say you I, left? Uh, so Riverwood. Yeah, like, oh, well, like going reason, from... It was <laughs> Oh, it's Riverwood. <laughs> oh, sorry. Yeah. Anyway, go, go on. Yeah, look, no, it's an easy mistake to make. Fair yeah, enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I would All say good. White Run probably has to be last of those for me. Of oh, really? Five. Of the top five? Okay. Mm. I, thought you'd, I thought you'd rank it a bit higher. I mean... I do love it. But... I can be... Like, the main thing... I think with the reason people get so attached to it, obviously, like I said, spend so much time there. And it's kind of like the headquarters or central sort of part for the rest of it. Like, for example, like it's the only place where you have, I feel like, an emotional connection to the Jarl because of the main quest. Like you go to the Arbolgroth. Mm-hmm. And when you do the civil war that takes over a main city, that doesn't happen for the rest of the city. So it becomes even more significant because if you have that kind of quest and you go into the throne room and even if you're overthrowing Jarl Belgroth, um, I remember doing it because I did Stormcloaks the first time through. I remember feeling really bad because I didn't want to overthrow Jarl Belgroth. I wanted mm. him to like do you know, and like. You know, that was one of the first times I discovered um, that you can do a dual wielding attack <laughs> with, with daggers on my uh, Khajiit that I talked about in uh, the yeah, previous yeah. episode. And I remember feeling so cool because as he came down, I must have been really high leveled for the Civil War or something. But the two guards escorting him came down and he came down and then I basically did the power attack. And as I spun around, I basically killed both guards in like the one attack. Some even mm. blocked it and just died. And, oh, I felt I felt so much cooler than my character really was. Real quick. One thing also, like I was sort of saying, like you want to kind of like, I, at least how I'm doing it is trying to think in terms of like a city, but also like cities as in like, do I want to be in them? Like, I quite enjoy walking around, not living, not forgetting that, but literally playing in that city. Like, I enjoy walking around White Run and, like, the the life. Like, the thing that does would get White Run ranking higher for me is is kind of the layout. But when you go through, there's that market district in front of the Bannered Mare and you get people talking and crossing mm-hmm. and stuff, or at least it tries to give you the vibe of that. You go up the go up again and then there's the Temple Priest and the Talos praising from Heimskir and so on. I think in terms of atmosphere, White Run is, uh, is well executed and so on. And I, so mm-hmm. I think it... And then obviously, like I was sort of saying before, you get like the Battleborn versus Greymane. You've got the companions there and, and you've got the like... Y- y- it's... There's, are we, are we, are we going to end up with White Run as number one? <laughs> well, you go past, and you know how you get like that red guard woman talking to um mm. the the guys like lost the family sword. Like, 
And I think that's because Bethesda put a lot of effort there because that's where everyone's going to go at first. But I think it's just well executed. The land around it looks really cool, like the big golden fields and stuff. And the thing is, you see that land all the time from where you are, like yeah. sitting there and you can see High Hrothgar as it's well. It's a massive and, landmark. It's, yeah. it's You see it all the time. I think Whiterun will rank very high. I'm just not sure if it'll rank number one. Yeah, I agree. What do you think about Windhelm being ranked lowest, even though there's a lot to like about it? Mm. Um, and I made that video about how Windhelm is basically the most tragic, depressing city in all of Skyrim for many more reasons than you'd think at first. There's a lot of reasons that are all in that video, which you should check out. Um, but <sighs> Windhelm for me is a place that I really like when I'm role playing a certain type of character, which is basically a Stormcloak Rebellion character. But, and, and the Grey Quarter and stuff, that's cool. Like that's going on. Um, maybe I have a bias because I have a lot of bad memories in Windhelm due to glitches in the Blood on the Ice quest, like early days Xbox 360 game broken on multiple builds because of that quest. Um, but I feel like it could be put in last place compared to the other five, unless one of you is going to chuck Riften well, down so there. So one thing about, I mean, like taking it from Whiterun to Windhelm, Whiterun kind of like, you know, you've got Nazim and then you've got this kind of vertical tiered system where it does give you the impression of kind of like the further up you go, the higher class you are, the more important you are. <coughs> but even though Windhelm doesn't really have that vertica verticality element, um, you can really feel the disparity in yeah. the quality of life from one side of the city going down into the Grey Quarter and then all the way down to the docks and you can really see how divided it is. Mm -hmm. You know, when you've got like the Cruel Sea home and um, that other family, they've got these giant mansions, you go through the middle and then you get down to these absolute slums, but the slums look really interesting. And mm -hmm. yeah, I, I, Windhelm, Windhelm does a better job for me than Whiterun of giving you this feeling of disparity and conflict between the people who live there. Yeah. So, like, whether or not that's a good thing like the law argue, like in terms of law and like it's like the city execution like what they do often with the cities anyway is because they're like limited by the size the way to do it is like to break it up like you're saying with the docks and the gray quarter even though like the actual land space of windhelm's not crazy big compared to any of the others or anything it does create that sort of tiered mm -hmm. feeling and so on and there's also memorable quests there like the, there is the whole the blood on the ice um the uh, whole blood and the ice thing, even the experience when you go to uh, Aventus, um, Arantino, we're doing the black sacrament, so on. Mm -hmm. You know, the the palace, um, the Hall of Kings is really, really cool. Like when you go in there um, and Ulfric's there, like it's a really well laid it, out. It also has room. Rise in the East, which is one of the best mm -hmm. side quests ever, though mm -hmm. it doesn't, you know, it takes you out of Windhelm, but that yeah, is really cool. And I really like how cramped it is. I, I think, you know, in it, rather <laughs> than having the spread out kind of typical you know, like wooden thatch longhouse type buildings. You've got these tight Nordic stone structures where walking down certain alleyways, you feel kind of like choked by it, which is kind of like, you know, like a medieval European city, like even a, a, like feel the feeling of London. It kind of gives yeah. me Jack the Ripper London vibes, Victorian era London. Are we going to end up ranking this above Riften? Well, real quick, I don't know. One thing I'll throw <laughs> out there is that architecturally, also really like it too, and it's got that. It's like got that cold, ancient Nord stone sort of look as well, which I really like. But I, I wonder what you guys think of this. In terms of, despite on paper, I can go all these reasons. Windhelm's really good. When I'm in it, I don't really like being in Windhelm when I'm same, playing the game. I same. just don't actually enjoy walking around Windhelm as and, and I enjoy And same as the them. area around it. Mm. It's it's like pretty much that kind of like just snow everywhere. As much as that Skyrim, it's like there the other cities, I think, have a lot more going on around it. Like if you think of Markarth, the Reach, that's a like that's a place. No one mm -hmm. thinks of like, you know, the hold around mm. Windhelm as much. Yeah. There are obviously cool terrain, like in, in unique areas there, but not maybe not the same as the other cities. I honestly, like this is the hard thing because we're dealing with like the top five cities anyway out of it. Like I could put Windhelm at the bottom, um, I think, just because I have to factor in that I just don't like being in Windhelm mm. that much. Like, yeah, I, me too. I actually agree with that completely. Like if I had to spend time in one of them, I'd much rather be in Whiterun than in Windhelm, even mm. though I think Windhelm get like in a way gets credit for that uneasy feeling of being mm. in there and that it feels if, very inhospitable if we're using that as a heavy kind of um thing to help us decide 
then I feel like later you're going to convince me to put Winterhold down under Dawnstar. I mean, I mean, that's a hundred percent. It's like, I never go to Winterhold unless I'm going for the college. Yeah, like that's course. it. Of course. Um, but All right. Well, let's, let's talk about another city. Let's talk about Riften. Okay. Um, I obviously think that, I mean, you two know it's one of my favorite cities. I've said it already. Um, but I know it's super subjective. I just really like the like poor Ratways vibe and like all the little wooden um, walkways underneath the top part, like the mm. verticality that goes down instead of up and the whole water system running through the city. Um, it's also market, beautiful. It's, like, yeah, the like, area around it is when you go on the docks in and, autumn and, and yeah. yeah, the docks too. You I've look out on the lake and... Yeah. I used to be grinding up my alchemy there by catching the Cyrodiilic spade tail fish. Mm. <laughs> I used to have to get so many of those. Um, and it's it's just, I don't know, it's just cool. There's more doors into it than you'd expect, though you could say that for all the cities. Um, the whole Thieves Guild secret entrance and everything happening in the Thieves Guild and the Ragged Flagon and all the characters there. Um maven blackbriar and all of that going on with all the controversy and the corruption and things like that uh being bob is a decent tavern as well i do feel like with these cities especially skyrim cities for me at least um especially like you know out of the top five properly done ones are all pretty on par like to me there is no hyper clear winner there's no one like oh this one really sucks and this one's great it's really out of those top five i kind of get a little in my hard. opinion, it has the best player home as well. Honeyside, yeah. I love yeah. it. Because I, I was honestly considering Riften to be potentially my number one. Okay. Um, but yeah, I, I absolutely love... I, I love everything about it. And, and its location kind of on, on Lake Onrich. And just the, the color palette for Riften mm. and the Rift in general is so good. And as, yeah. you, as you said, the verticality and kind of like having all of this this city underneath the city in the form of the Ratways and the Ragged Flag and all of that. Yeah, really... well... I mean, I also... Cause, cause like, I also objectively, agree. I want to put Solitude up there. Because Solitude is a really cool city. But it's subjectively not my favorite. Mm-hmm. Um, Solitude is the cityest city yeah, of exactly. all the cities in I Skyrim agree. cities. Yeah, I, I don't know. Like, it's hard. I will have to think about more of them. But I, I do really like um, Riften, and there's obviously there's plenty of stuff there. Also, got the same vibe. Like, you've got the oh, Maven Blackbriars here. She runs this whole joint, yeah. and you have other characters kind of reacting to that, like the people that live are in the in the metering and so on. And and you, and you know, the whole existence of the Ratway to, Ratway. To be fair, like. Um, factors in and the guard trying to shake you down at the front yeah. it just gets mm. that feel straight away that this is the the backwater bandits kind of city you know yeah like it's it's not a friendly I, place there's more there straight away who i always avoid but on your first playthrough you got to think first playthrough mm -hmm. the vibes are nice it's not my top but no. like it's definitely high I, like okay yeah. but then but then like markarth is one of the best cities ever too yeah markarth has the potential to be number one I Based on the fact, I that think it's, it's objectively the best. Well, it's got Forsworn conspiracy with Sidna Mine. It's got just the Forsworn around the Reach in general, and all that stuff's really interesting with Maranach and things like that. You've got the Silver Bloods there. Obviously, the big key is the Dwemer architecture, the Dwemer museum, the fact that there's a city made in Skyrim out of an old Dwemer place, and the keep. The House of there. Horrors quest is memorable, mm -hmm. and so is the um, when you go into the uh, the. What oh my goodness, the tomb, basically where the, the, the cannibal. Yeah. yeah, I kept wanting to say funeral, but I'm like, that's not that's not what it's called. <laughs> yeah, the Hall of the Dead, right? The Hall of yeah, the Dead, yeah, yeah, yeah. Going in there and that whole like cannibal quest that comes out of that, and then how there's also hidden cannibals within the city itself. Like you can even buy a dog out the front. I don't know, I like I just that's another thing you can buy a dog yeah. companion. But like um and Markarth, like, there is no better, like, entrance, like, welcome to Markarth when you walk in and then someone gets stabbed in front of you. Like, it's a pretty memorable sort of, like, mm -hmm. thing going on there. Um, and the aesthetic's really cool. Like, all the mines that go down. Like, if we're speaking about verticality, Markarth is a clear winner. Oh, mm. and in and terms of history, too. Yeah. Like, I think it's one of the better examples of the whole Forsworn deal anyway and having that interlinking with Ulfric so it becomes far more relevant to, like... a main character's story and that the whole interaction there and so on with and, and the Mananarch and all that but like 
I kind of like that that there's it's different to Riften in the way that it's Riften's like oh welcome to the seedy city and there's lots of thieves everywhere and so on whereas Mark Arth it's like it presents itself as not but then there's this darker underbelly mm-hmm. there's all of these like you know um, th- with the whole conspiracy with the silver bloods keeping Mananark in the mine and then there's the force one reachman stuff all around it and that, that sort of like latent threat that seems to exist and yeah I, I, I kind of and obviously like I said like all of the Dwemer kind of stuff it's just super cool like in the same way if you were to go to like Morrowind cities and you'd be like oh what are the unique cool ones oh Sadrith Moor it's a big mushroom Telvani house I mean like this one's in a dwarven ruin like it's mm-hmm. pretty unique. You're used to it now because you've played so much Skyrim, but it stands out a lot um, amongst mm. the rest. So I, I even have like cool memories of going for the Dark Brotherhood quest where you go meet Muri and um, and all of that stuff. Ka- Calcemo's museum when you when mm-hmm. you get the yeah. the snow the Fowler thing and you jump down and at the end and yeah to get and you get the Dwemer cube on the way like yeah, yeah. I think Markarth could take the cake today, but we'll just see. Um, we'll talk about some of the other cities as well. Uh, would you... Okay, let's just talk Solitude for a second because we haven't had a big <laughs> discussion about it. Solitude, from the outside especially, is incredibly cool. Again, mm-hmm. it's something you get used to seeing the side of, but in a similar way to Whiterun, it's a bit of a landmark. You know, you're in Skyrim, you look out. If you're in that area, you see the big, you know, kind of rock overpass with a city built on top of it. The thing for me about Solitude, and I suppose you need this in Skyrim because, you know, it's it's kind of like the, the seat of the Empire more and it's it does differ to the other cities in term of, terms of architecture, but it's a bit classic for me. Like, Blue Palace is unique compared to other things in Skyrim, but when I'm in there, I've just it just feels a bit typical, a bit like... Um, it, uh, I don't know. You can expect what you get. I get mm-hmm. what there's, there's no surprises, except the Shea Gorath quest, but there's no yeah. like surprise, surprise. I, I guess to me, funnily enough, I mean, I often did buy Prouds by Mana just because it was the most expensive house yeah. and characters and so on. But the other thing too for me there is like, I actually spent a lot of time there. It became like a weird, like a central kind of location of that area. I don't know. But I, I also like when you first enter and there's the whole like execution, I think that's a really cool like opening to the city as well, which is done well. But then there's the presence of the Imperials and the forts and so on. It's a very Imperial feeling, but there are lots of cool quests that surround it. Like even, you know, the whole, um, when you team up with the Argonian guy, lights to, to out. Light, lights the out. lights out, like that's a really cool quest. There is the Bard's College, which wasn't as I, I think, well. But- I think that deserves a lot of credit, including like King Olaf's burning, you know, that ceremony, even though obviously the quest line is far from what we want it to be, the presence of the Bard's College, combined with the fact it's the capital and feels like the capital, mm. it does feel like if you if you are successful in Skyrim, you will gravitate to solitude as opposed to anywhere else. And I like all the, mm. uh, all the like, kind of um, ways in and out of the city, that especially the one you find when you do the Dark Brotherhood quest, where you, you're the chef. Mm. And you basically poison the emperor's double, and you have to flee the city. Yeah, and you're like going yeah, down that yeah. tower and go out that exit gate, and obviously all around Solitude, you've got like the all the different uh, boats and things like that with pirates on them, the lighthouse, as we said, well, and you've got the Thalmor kind of outpost to the northwest, which is kind of cool it's cool vibe. too that like I think it's one of the most like. Um, like 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 I was saying, classic city, but the idea that you go down there's the port, also that whole like. East Almost Empire like a hangar, company. yeah. Underneath is cool, mm, yeah. but you go, you go up, and you as you go up, you sort of get the feel that you are following to richer and richer as you get to the houses yeah. close to the Blue Palace and so on. Also, there's the Temple of Divines there. <laughs> However, yeah. like we were sort of saying that they're all like close, mm-hmm. I could easily put it as number four. You reckon it's better than Riften? I feel like so, whatever one I talk about, wait, Windhelm. number four, better than Windhelm. Sorry. Windhelm's the bottom out of the fight. Uh, what, the what I meant to say was, do you think that Riften is better than Solitude? I think w- Riften... After you talk one up, I always feel like changing... I think positions. Riften is better than Solitude. Yeah. Only Subjectively, because- I do. This but is- objectively, I feel like it could be strange to say. Because they're sort of a mix. I mean, at the end of the day, it is all like a subjective Subject- kind of thing. Yeah. But yeah, we could throw in like objectively, Solitude is the most city-feeling city <laughs> in the way that it's like its layout. But also... 
it kind of expands a bit and you get the feeling, oh, there's stuff going on here. There's boats going to other countries. There's, oh, there's the Imperials here in the fort. There's the stuff going on in the Blue Palace. Like there's like a, a life. Oh, someone's getting executed out here at the front. There's, there's like- There's the secret the, storm cloak camp that everyone should know about. <laughs> yeah, the, but there's the Bards College there. It, it does- Even fit. Dragon's Bridge and, and all of that mm -hmm. outside of it is quite nice. I don't know if I can put it in fourth. Oh, look, weird. a lot of is these ones... Is White Run as good as you think? A lot of these ones can be so, like... Like I said, I could be switched around on any day. I'm pretty certain Windhelm at the Run... bottom of the five. Yeah, me too. That's fine. But I also sure feel we... pretty certain with Markarth at the top. Yeah, me too. So, if what we're doing right now is more or less trying to decide the order of the three in the middle... Yes. Not, like... I personally... And this could just be because I've seen it so much, but I personally... I know you talked about the Yarl and stuff, but uh, putting White Run down, like I don't know if White Run, I don't know. I don't know. I and then you go to the Dragon's so Reach easy. balcony and you look Dragon. out yeah. and you're like, "This is cool. Like this is the seat yeah. of a Yarl. Like look yeah. out there." Hard decisions, decisions. I will tell you, Riften, as much as it feels like it, it is, um, Riften has the least grandeur of any mm -hmm. of them. Oh yeah. Um. Which to me, sometimes I kind of do like that. Like when you're going up to the to the Glad District, and especially as you look at the balcony, it feels like this is the seat of a king, which is essentially what a Yarl is kind of like, you know, mm. should should be, not like a high king. Um, but, and, and it kind of feels big. And when you, especially when you enter Dragon's Reach, like you're in a Yarl's palace. Same as when you enter, um, uh, what, what do you call it? E even the Blue Palace and so on. As much as it's not the big size as grandeur, the seating of it, the big on this arch it overlooks everything. Whereas Riften's Palace is pretty yeah. low tier. Mistville and Cape. you could say the same yeah. for Understone Keep is that, e you know, even though it's a much different vibe and aesthetic to oh, the yeah. others, it is very grand and it feels like the seat of a king. Yeah. Yeah. You're sitting on the throne of ancient race. Like it's kind of like... Yeah, it's pretty cool. So I should, I should we put Riften at four then? Like I've, I've got to be honest, in this weird subjective way, I can say that Riften and Markarth are probably my favorite cities. Mm -hmm. But we're not here to say favorite cities. I feel mm -hmm. that as much as this is all super subjective, there is this objective element to it. Like we've been talking about different factors and and things that make it like a, a better ranked city. Mm. You know, so no, I think fair. that Riften, even though I love it could be in num position number four. I kind of agree. I agree. I, I okay. agree. Okay. okay. This okay. is the thing. The thing also, just to consider for you, like out of the top five, like a lot of them are so close and it depends the kind of vibe you're in. It can change yeah, and so on. But like I said, like we'll try and ground it in a few more things like the most city, like <laughs> most city -like nah. cities, but things like grandeur and stuff too. Like when you, why is the Imperial city cool? Cause you go in there's Imperial palace, there's all these districts yeah. and there's huge buildings. It looks cool. Why is Skingrad cool? Oh, cause it's got like, you know, the lower part and then there's the castle up there and it kind of feels like welcome to Skingrad. We just, there's a lot of factors going into this ranking because for example, yeah. like if, if it was grandeur, we'd put Windhelm above Riften easy. Yeah. But yeah. But it's also it just, it just, it just ain't it, Chief. That's the important <laughs> thing is that the bottom four cities are night and day compared to the top five. Like yeah. I'd say position five is as, is closer to number one than it is to number six. Oh, oh absolutely. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah, so yeah. so where, where we draw the line here isn't as important. But the, yeah. the top five are the top five. So, okay. I guess then we're <laughs> deciding between two and three with Whiterun and Solitude. Do you know, this is a really like reason I'm going to put, I think, so close. I think I'll put Whiterun at two because... Uh, pa panda to the audience. It feels more... <laughs> Do you think more, Whiterun's the most popular? It feels... Yeah, yeah. yeah. It fe A, all the central reasons stuff we said before, it feels more Nordic to me. It feels more like this is the seat of a Jarl. Like, this is like, welcome to Skyrim. Look at all of this, like, this big step that I control. I'm on my cool palace of Dragon's Reach. Dragon's Reach has a really cool history with Olaf One Eye and so on. The companions are there. There's the Skyforge. White Run feels like Ebony a city. Ebony Blade as well. And the city itself, in terms of its lore, and even in the execution, feels like it has a lot of history. There's, there's clans that have been feuding for a long time. The companions have been here for, you know, four and a half thousand years or whatever it is. Like, it feels like kind of like the most important city in White Run. And then there's also the whole, like, you fight uh, in, in Skyrim, I meant. Um, but then you're fighting over it too in the Civil War, and there's that whole, like, it's that tipping balance. I think that what's going. 
even to the plot of Skyrim, it feels so central. Like, it, 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 I mean, it is. It's the main yeah. part. It's the tipping thing of the Civil War. And I just, I feel like for all of those reasons and sort of combined, I would put it at number two over Solitude. I think I agree. Yeah. Yeah. And I think we all just love Markarth here. Well, I think the reason Markarth wins out is honestly the X factor over the top. I, I yeah. just still think we're not giving Winterhold enough credit. <laughs> Top three. <laughs> All right. Okay. So the list well, as as it as it stands right now, if I were mm-hmm. to do a recap, as much as I love Riften, so we've got Markarth, White Run, Solitude, Riften, Windhelm, and then Falkreath, Winterhold, Dawnstar, kind of on the same thing, and then Morthal. Are we happy with the top five? I think we're going to have to settle there. As much as I said, I kind of like, I, I kind of think yeah. so. Um, okay. Okay. I think so. Let's talk minor, minor cities again. <laughs> the most controversial takes of all. I guess uh, now that we've sort of talked about the other ones a bit more, we can get a bit more clarity of what we think. In, but in terms of like, I'm pretty happy with more thought at the bottom. Like in terms of re- relevance to the to the rest of the world, like there's a cool, like, you know, there's some cool things there. They're all but cool. But it's really, really small basically no political relevant like you could skip over morthal and you never mm-hmm. doesn't matter yeah no no real historical significance either yeah um and then there's like you know uh, i like it but yeah not not really for example and i and i wonder how much this factors in maybe we can try and throw in some like extra things but like i said with dawnstar it feels like there's a, it, it it is even if it's just that interaction uh, in, interaction at the start when you walk in it sort of establishes itself as part of the larger Skyrim, like, oh, there's a civil war going on and we have this kind of um, sort of thing going on, whereas Morthal really feels like you could just bundle it up and throw it in another province, theoretically, and nothing mm-hmm. really changes that much. Yeah, same as Falkreath. Well, yeah, I guess you could bundle it, throw it at Cyrodiil, but it's just beautiful, bro. Yeah. <laughs> it's just a I'm, nice I'm, I'm a big fan of, um, of the beauty of Falkreath. Mm. I think but- the real argument to be had at this point is if you, if you prioritize how a city feels in the game when you play it like physically there's more to do or the one that kind of has a more interesting vibe and a sense of what should be there but history or the law has caused to change so i'd say winterhold is winterhold as a concept of a city is much more interesting than dawnstar but you know, but you're not but you're not playing the concepts you're living your when you play the game you're in the execution of it but the but the vibe I think is attached to that. Like, I will agree. Like College of Winterhold, if we were using Winterhold gra- has a crap. If we were, vibe. I think it. I mean, if it we were using interesting vibe. If we were using College of Winterhold, you could argue um, in its favor that it does have a little more X factor and grandeur. Like the College of Winterhold of makes it look cool, and it, and you know it's interesting enough that there was a collapse and so on. But in terms of being in a city, like I'm a character, I want to go to this city. Yay! I'm excited to Winterhold. What's to do here? Like especially if you're not a mage and you're not going to the College of Winterhold, why would you be in Winterhold? There's nothing there to do there's like and they, it doesn't feel like there's a lot going on you don't get any idea of like districts and stuff the reason i put dawnstar over winterhold is that it actually at least it's more like it feels like a town but it feels like a society is going on here it feels like oh there's the dawnstar museum there's there's the mines there's the docks and oh, and then you know they make comments about how they take you know, yeah, yeah. ship stuff everywhere, whatever. But then there's also, um, you know, the Nightcrawler Temple. Like, there's the idea that, oh, there's nightmares going on. There's some interesting quest threads. There's the Dark um, Brotherhood Sanctuary as well, which is a cool idea that that's underneath Dawnstar. I don't know. I just like Can it. We, what, what do you think about the Black Star and attaching anything Azura to Winterhold? Ooh. Her statue being nearby and the quest <clears throat> being centered around Winterhold. Look... My main thing is you go and once you don't, it depends how far you cast the net because I feel like if you cast the net to the entire hold, you start getting, like the reasons, for example, you'd say things like, the docks or, or something like Solitude is like technically it's not in the city, but it's very like connected to it or even the mines or something outside of Markarth or like, you know, in, in Whiterun, you, you could kind of like, you know, there's the watchtower and the farms around yeah, it. They yeah. make it look like it. it feels like it's still connected. I don't know if there's any implicit connection between that. I don't think there is between Azura's statue and Winterhold because I don't think there is no implied connection uh. there either. Like, for example, Riften, if you were to saying to the meaderies or the farms just outside of Riften, there is that like societal implied connection that kind of attach it a little bit more. I'm, I'm slowly mm-hmm. agreeing. 
I'm slowly him. watching Winter Hold fall. Fall. We're already into the ocean. Dude, if you if you go if you go like, do you enjoy being in Winter Hold? Because I don't. I think it's awful. I, I spent know, a lot of time I'm, at the college. I'm just trying to yeah trying to really like make sure that the college isn't left out. If Dude, you take the college away, it's nothing. For me, at least, even Dawnstar, there's a few things like this is a complete meme one. But remember, there's that like glitch chest you can access and all <laughs> <Yeah>. that. <laughs> oh, that's so it. That. But also, he's been paid off. <laughs> caravans, the the Khajiit caravans actually visit Dawnstar as well, and that's one of the areas. But it's just like It feels like there's things going on Winterhold feels so isolated So empty to me And if you're like Oh that's a, Here's my pitch for a city It's isolated Empty There's no one in it The only thing here Is this college of Winterhold Like What I'm saying is And, fun- and, a, and a cool so is Ch- jail <laughs> Sorry This is a weird example But I was going to say Chernobyl is kind of empty <laughs> as well But it's pretty <laughs> interesting it's Yeah pretty but it's interesting Because it's ruins no, yes, well, like the, the ruins of a city. But we're ranking cities. If city. I said to you, if I said to you, what are the most interesting cities to like to be in, to go in, or whatever to <laughs> see in the world? Chernobyl. Would you put Chernobyl at the top? Anywhere well, I near think it? a lot of people would. I, I'm not kidding. Look, I'd rather go to. There's probably si- hundreds of cities that I would rather go to in the world that actually are cities and not ruins. Yeah, I get. I'd, like if we look, look, if we want to rank ruins, like where are we going to put Bleak Falls Barrow? Like as ranking it in the top five cities, you know, <laughs> like you know what I, I mean? Think, yeah, I think a ruined city can still be considered a city. But okay, fair, Labyrinthian, fair Labyrinthian. It literally was a city called Bromanjar, well, an ancient city. It's no longer populated. What do I we mean, think? Look, if if we included Labyrinthian as one of the cities, it would be up there for me. Nah. Yeah. As, as a city for nah. not But do you humans, see it's not a city dragons. anymore But it's not <laughs> but a city it, It's got oh, a lot of me, layers and, but a and you city can imagine is dragons not ju- living there But a city is not just the physical part Like it is obviously That's like what I'm saying City Do you know how <laughs> the reason they go like a population They need like A population needs to be there I think People make the city Because if there's no people in a city It quickly becomes a ruin Hold on. Let me just look. We'll, at we'll agree to disagree. I mean, look, no, e- look even this, the people use population metrics to determine whether something's a, a, like, you know, a settlement town or a city as well. Like. Yeah. Oh, I, nah, I the know, College so- of Winterhold is just too majestic. I'd, I'd be genuinely curious to know how many people are in Winterhold versus um, Folk Reef, including the college. Look, look, I am looking at a photo of Winterhold and a photo of Dawnstar next to each other. And Winterhold looks way cooler because of the college. Yeah, but we're not... like That's like I said. I said that Winterhold has grandeur going for it because of the look of the college outside of that. I, I, I honestly think between Dawnstar and Winterhold, we probably need to get the perspective of the viewers. I, I think they should decide that one. I'm going to... S- there's no way we... G- I, I won't agree on it. I'll just accept it if it's 2v1, yeah. basically. I think Winterhold is more interesting, personally. I'm going to send you to three pictures, and it will prove to you Put them up why on screen Winterhold. as well, Scott. Yeah, these three specific pictures, which make Winter- but- Winterhold look way cooler... Um, there you go. Okay. You, you three looking at them? Mm-hmm. Mm. One, two, three. I can't believe you shield me for Creed. <laughs> <laughs> but Winterhold gets a bit, uh, like, even though I'm on Winterhold's side here, the, uh, the Northern Lights help a bit and the perspective. Yeah. But I think Winterhold but- is, is the coolest looking of those. Yeah. Just because I could tell you, it's just it's just how much waiting. You I've know convinced what I mean? him. Falkreath falling down the ranks. You're no way you're gonna put <laughs> Falkreath below College of Winterhold as term of a city, oh, dude. Oh. Outside of the college, there's like how many NPCs? I'm finding it up the now, how many NPCs one, in, two, in the three, city in four, general? Five, six, seven, eight. Oh, in the city, but is it, the thing is, it oh nine, ten, eleven, because it counts. Um, it oh, counts the on. college He's of Winterhold. That there's no, it counts. No, let's, it counts count. the college of Winterhold. So if you count the college of Winterhold, there's a lot no, more. No, let's, but let's like not, the college of Winterhold has a higher population than the actual. One, no, look, two, I'm, I'm happy three, to do this. Let's... Four, five, six, seven, eight, down, nine, so. ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fourteen. We can't NPCs. include Dawnstar Sanctuary in Dawnstar. True. Yeah. yeah. True. Because they're full grief. Fourteen versus one, two, three. Four, five. I think there are six, more seven, people eight, in Winterhold. Nine, no way. Ten. 
No, this is this is not great not, listening, but no, there's not. <laughs> there isn't. No, not by a long shot. But anyway, not by a long shot. It's close. Wind Peak Inn just chucks a whole bunch into Dawnstar. Yeah. Look, yeah, anyway, also, like I said, there's, there's more, like, it's hard to distinguish. It really does depend how much you, like, weight in the College of Winterhold itself. But if you, uh, if you, if you isolate the factions, like, take out the Dark Brotherhood Sanctuary, like, and you take out the College of Winterhold, for example, like, oh, even just the quest, the that, quest I'm component, saying. the quest components of it, the quest content, Winterhold has basically no content. And you go like, yeah, it's just two data quests or whatever. But dude, even the Dawnstar Museum is a unique piece. You okay, go in, yeah, a yeah, massive yeah. callback to Oblivion. The whole nightmare principle, as much as it is, the first time you go and do that, it's pretty cool. Like the whole idea that the city yeah. is plagued by nightmares. It's a cool Can premise. I, for I just have one request. The people. When, when, when I talk about those three pictures, I want those three pictures on screen. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The audience must see, the jury must see what Look, they're looking I, at. But I I'm agree. Dawnstar on beats one. Winterhold. You've lost, Drew. No, we're we're not deciding that. One. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so all right. So Morthul, Winterhold, Dawnstar to be decided. Falkreath. Yep. <laughs> Windhelm, Riften. Yes. Solitude, White Run, Markarth. Ordered from best to worst. <laughs> mm -hmm. Nice. Yeah. No, good but I, I think that's a pretty good list. I, I think that's a pretty solid, respectable list. Like, even if you, even if people like, oh, like a placement or something, I don't think anyone's going to necessarily be like, being able to strongly argue, for example, Windhelm's number one. I feel like we're, we're pretty firmly, it's not number one. I feel like people could do that for Whiterun over Markarth. Mm -hmm. I got some fun memories of jumping off the Winterhold Bridge using become ethereal or trying to land in the water and if it was just not shallow enough i'd survive i'm gonna otherwise I, game over i'm gonna shill the ideal skyrim here i'm gonna shill the own videos <laughs> on the channel but um i made the ideal skyrim and redesigned everything and so on but conceptually have a look at that for the holds of the smaller towns and so on like there's ways to execute morthal better and winter hold and so on like even i i even ran with it like running with the Winterhold idea. Like the idea was instead that you have it actually being reconstructed and so on and that people are actually like going and looking for salvage of the city and like there could even be a cool quest where there's like basically the Winterhold like bank or whatever is fallen in they're trying to find a vault kind of thing or something mm. that's fallen into the sea or like mm -hmm. the like there could have been so many cool things to work with Winterhold, Falkreath, you know, um same sort of deals but you can kind of improve them. Uh, the great uh it's great towns and cities uh, mod um, do a really good job of fixing up Falkreath and even even Winterhold to a degree it expands it makes it look like there used to be a grand city there before that's another thing I really don't like about Winterhold is it outside of the college itself it doesn't really look like there used to be this big grand city there whereas because if there was like you'd kind of want ruins crumbling mm -hmm. into the like the, the mod thing, like the mod ads. yeah which yeah. is the intent but not the the execution yeah. in the game I mean that great towns and cities mod that really makes solitude stand out as a capital city because oh, they, they end up lining the cliffs with you know um, other districts and it yeah. just makes it really come to life and, and with yeah. that mod it actually feels like a huge yeah. city yeah so sometimes the, that, hold the on that might be I'm not sure if that's another mod. That might be oh, JK okay. Skyrim or something. The, the greater okay. towns and cities, I think, is just the small, poorly yeah. done cities, mm. but another mod. I, anyway, I guess at we'll the end of the day, or something. sometimes the concept and the lore is much cooler than the reality of what you get, mm -hmm. such as with Falkreath. Um, and yeah, does, does anyone have anything else to say on our rankings? Um, Let us know uh, in the comments why Raven Rock actually is the secret winner <laughs> of this competition. Look, I, I just want to know. I genuinely want to know which people would choose between Dawnstar and Winterhold. Even if I'm, even if I'm in the minority, I'd be very interested to know. Mm. I, I have a feeling Dawnstar will win because. Mm. Scott because it's an actual so city. long shilling it because <laughs> <laughs> it's an actual place with actual people and interactions. But 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 like. To be fair, they're all kind of not great. Like, I'm not, like, as much as I'm, like, shilling Dawnstar over Winterhold, it's Dawnstar's a piss-poor city. Like, it's a, it's not like, it, it whoa! It should have been much bigger, yeah. Yeah, but e even just, I mean, honestly, just even unique architecture would have changed things up a lot. Like, mm -hmm. but yeah, it doesn't. It'd be interesting to do a, 
uh, I mean, people can see if they uh, want it, but um, like Cyrodiil's best city is like Oblivion in the time of Oblivion. Because I wonder there would be some interesting stuff there. I, but then once again, though, I kind of feel like, well, not once again, but I feel like Imperial City is a pretty clear top there. Don't you reckon? No? Yeah, I'd say just, so. Just but because. But, there's but lots it, to argue. But there would be lots sure. of the other ones to talk about and stuff. But yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. Nice. All right. Well, thank you very much for listening, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, oh, but... you're keen. You're keen to wrap up, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> no, I was before waiting for podcast, you, and you didn't say before it. Before this podcast, I I copped it for being the one to wrap up, but it's because these no, it's because you're keen scared. to wrap up. It's yeah, apparently. These I'll, two I'll sit scared, here and talk for three so hours I straight. It. I take the bullet. And look, look at them wrapping All right. it up. All right, uh, you know what? No, you. I'm going to reverse <laughs> this on you. Yeah. Now we're ranking Oblivion Cities right here, right now. <laughs> All right, let me pull them up. All Let's right. rank ESO I, Cities. I unironically will, but I reckon one of you two will chicken out first. Well, who's going to wrap up? Because I'm going and opening the Oblivion Cities right now. I'm not wrapping up. We're going straight to Oblivion <laughs> Cities. Let's go. No, you hang up first. <laughs> <laughs> all, right, all right let's do it so all right <clears throat> i mean this one won't have a clear bot like bottom group and top group uh, mm. i think all of them mm. have much more interesting oh absolutely things about them um one thing we can kind of i'm just going to say because we're actually going with the gameplay right we'll put kvatch at the bottom because of it's course, ruined of course. it's completely mm -hmm. ruined like theoretically it could be a cool city um, I would put, I still kind of think as much as there's some, I have preferences over, I think Imperial city is still like, it's just the biggest has the most attention, the most Imperial central. city wins by far. Yeah. Like the, the waterfront district it just alone is such a cool place. So I think uh, of all the districts in the Imperial city, all the surrounding area and little settlements, the jail, you've got the arcane university, no questions. The arena is there. So many quests. Imperial City wins easily. Um, I... Kvatch is at the bottom. I would probably, based on feel, I'm really tempted to put Leowin down as the bottom just because of my personal subjective feel of being there. Um, they, they kind or... of did fail to, to nail the Nibbanese culture feel of those cities in the um, east a bit more than the mm. Colovian cities. But the I... fact that each one has its count um, and you know its own. I mean, they're obviously Skyrim. Can, had its own I, can I just say well. I love all the cities, man. Yeah. I mm. love them, the, the and I, it pains me to put anything last. I would kind of, I kind of like laying on a little more. Like, it's not nowhere near high, high, high. But I, I do, I do like it. Like even the Argonian Khajiit sort of conflict in terms of feeling. Oh, by the way, this is the other thing. All of the cities feel more like cities, not necessarily because of just the size or something, but the feeling like, oh, there's mm -hmm. the walls. They separate districts wells. There's plenty of shops. They also, oh, here's your local guild of each respective place. It makes every place feel a little bit more full and lively. Every place has a chapel. It Every or the Oblivion cities just, they feel like they have all of the components of what makes a little society mm -hmm. run there. Whereas compared to Skyrim, you can look at a lot of them and they're just not... Um, they're not okay. That. Well, then, like, what's what's the worst? Try and try and pitch me the worst city in Oblivion, not including Kavach. And well, I will strongly disagree. But go for some it. Some of them are in retrospect too. I can say as well. But like, I'm. I would I, see. Funny, as a kid, I really liked Bruma because I was like a Nord character. I'm like, yeah, like a Bruma, you know, Nord. And it's cool that you can get your like statue there and so on. But if I'm actually looking at like a lot of the ones that I find the most interesting, I'd probably put Bruma pretty low compared I to the others. I have to. I have to disagree on what in one way, and that's after playing Skyrim, Bruma feels like the most boring city by far. No questions asked. But that's because you got so much Nord culture or Nords in your face. Before we'd been to Skyrim, Bruma was so interesting because it was a slice of, of mm. Nordic vibe. And it, and that's what made it interesting to me. It was very different. All the like, you know, different characters you could meet there. Um, it just, I just, I think it's boring because of Skyrim. Yeah. Beyond I Bruma mean, was also pretty cool to go back there. I but, think uh, Coral is the most boring. Coral is... I have a lot of good memories in all these cities, it's because but I can agree that Coral is the most standard kind of city. 
Like there's the hack. It's the fall creeper of Cyr- it's the fall creep of Cyr- it's, Cyr- the fall, it's the fall creep. <laughs> it's so the that's forest why one. it belongs down the bottom. But I was I will say in it, um the one thing about that adds to coral for most people, I think would imagine, is that it's very quest related. You go to Wayne and Priory, turn the Amulet mm-hmm. of Kings, naturally you go to the city next door. So a lot of people have a lot of memories in Coral. I know I do. Yeah, um, and there's, there's also, also hack dirt nearby. Yeah, that's what I said. Mm. Oh, yeah. yeah, my bad. Yeah. But I think in terms of it's funny when you actually go back and look at coral. There's actually a funny amount of like empty kind of space inside yeah. the walls. It's okay. not we necessarily can put coral. We can put coral last above Kavach if you want. Coral last, and then I would consider. Uh, I would Bruma. I would consider Bruma then, if if you really want. Can I just say that Anvil is one of the coolest cities? Yeah. Yeah. Um, agreed. I know that's a lot of that's like law and the is it which team's working on the the coolest. And oh, set up beyond um, Sky Oblivion. Uh, well, they're kind of both doing and yeah. beyond Skyrim. I've seen like, really different. cool stuff out of both, probably, and then mixed it all together. But Anvil is really cool. Anvil's Br- a really nostalgic one. Ch- Chaden Hall is also quite cool. It feels typical now looking back, but at the time, it felt like such a unique city mm-hmm. compared to all the other ones. I think, just real quick, I think with these lists, the hardest part is getting the middle. So I think it's easier to close it in from both sides. So I would kind of put, like, if we were going from the bottom, if we kind of go like, uh, okay, okay, we can the put Coral ones. and Bruma, kind of. And and Leia Wynn. Yeah. Uh, see, I can't... What do you oh, think? Oh, you want to put Breville down I there, kind of do don't... Like, Breville in retrospect, I kind of liked it because you could jump, jump on the roofs. That Me was too. bad as a kid. Like, the really thing. But in terms of actually going back to it, it's a really... And it's got a bit of a shanty vibe to it, which is kind of cool. But it's really... Ugly. I don't know. <laughs> like, I would rather... I find Leowin quite ugly, too, obviously. Yeah, I it's, mean... It's different, though, because uh, Breville is, you know, poor. But to me, I feel like you see that in Breville more. There's the skooma dealer. There's the um, the guy um, who's in debt, and you go and do the curtain quest to get the supposed Dra- Dragol's axe. And there's um, the skooma house with all the people in it. There's cool shops and stuff there as well, like the archery shop. The um, thing with Leowen, I guess, was just, I do like, it's actually, it's for change, a bit of a flat, flatter layout, but I do like, remember the whole Mazoga, the orc stuff. You go in, you got the Countess who tortures Argonians and stuff behind the scenes. Oh, I forgot about um, that. Um, but yeah, then you've also, yeah. I just like the actual layout of Leowen. I mean, you should check out the Sky Oblivion trailer, like the way that they've redone it, enhanced it even more. It looks really cool. But I actually prefer the layout of Leowen rather than okay, the well, cluttered look, shanty feel. But that's, I guess that's just a vibe. We can from. put Leowen and Breville kind of down there yeah um like if if i do the same thing as we did with winterhold i could put them kind of on the same for now and, and then put I'd the s- other ones but wait so you think both leowen and breville are better than bruma the reason i would say coral and bruma are the most plain they're the most gene- possibly generic kind of one again and i, I can agree with you but i feel like Bruma feels plain and generic because of Skyrim. Yeah, before it was the unique snow biome. I guess, like, but it I have to factor that. It was incredibly then. unique compared to, like, other biomes. Like, you go to... I know Skingrad will rank high, but, like, Skingrad, Coral, they've got that same feel. They're just, you know, there. I mean, look, the, the cities I like... And then Bruma liked, was snowing and just different. The cities I liked being in most were things like Anvil and Skingrad and when I did have a Nord Obsessed character I did go into Broom because I had this like Nord Obsessed character but it was a very role playing angle snow, there is but- also there is also actually Broom is going to step up here a bit because we talk about surrounding and related locations and quests Cloud Ruler Temple right near Broomer but remember, for the same reason, it's not necessary. For the same reason, discounting Azura's statue, it's not an implicit sort of like connection to. It's not like, well, oh, here's your white run well, guard tower. They do come. Well, Martin and all that are related. The the Bruma basically battle. Mm. Yeah, the but they just Bruma come from the there. It's not, it's not an extension Martin's of Martin's speech. It's not an extension of the Countess's domain. Yeah, but anyway, Battle of Bruma, that happens. Bruma, Bruma also, I think, in layout isn't as nice a city. I think because that's I another think thing. Bruma beats Bra- Breville. I think Bruma beats Breville. How about that? I mean, to be honest, you could. Hot I don't take. really, I don't really care about <laughs> Breville that much. I actually don't like being in Breville as much. Yeah, I, like you could jump around uh, as a kid. Like, yeah, I'm jumping from roof to roof, but really, that's not a. It's not a pretty. And city. you could, you could it's do a really that in Bruma city. anyway. Uh, let's talk about what's left then would be 
Chaden Hall, Skingrad, and Anvil. Skingrad is the cityest city, um, yeah. and I think that. Oh, I'm not discounting Imperial. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah like yeah. I almost think Imperial City just not even considered. Although I do kind of like. I think Anvil's still pretty. I, I, I would probably put Anvil then Skingrad because just purely based on the aesthetic and also by the dock. There's lots of like early Fighters Guild memories for me, and and the Mages Guild quest there, but um, also the Knights of the Nine Chapel thing, and also the Benarus Manor, and and also like you know you go out to the ship and there's that ship with the ghosts on it, and like mm-hmm. I don't know Anvil for me and the golden grasses around it, I really like the Gold Coast. It's the city you'd want to live in yeah. if you lived in. He Cyrodiil. just wants to get picked up by that gang of women and taken to a. Oh, uh, that's right. House that to too. be robbed. I also remember the uh, oh, and also it, you know it has a lighthouse, like, mm. so it has a bit of a harbor going on. And I like I don't know why it stuck with me, but the armorer there, the blacksmith, he just had a really good setup. He looked like wealthy in his armor out there. I don't know. He just it just I looked like a really. I remember I stole so much from him <laughs> <laughs> to get the the fenced gold up. Yeah, but Anvil feels a little more affluent as well, and I just which makes it. Do you have really think more it's better than after. Skingrad though? Yeah, I think so. Just because I feel it, like the remakes of Anvil have skewed it heaps for me I in don't, my head. I me, really like no. Anvil because of that kind of stuff too. Anvil has like the little pond area with the mermaid statue as well, and it has the that little garden and area. The is cool. And the well. guard, yeah, the, that it too. And the garden area across, like it's actually Anvil's actually built quite like a city in the way that the castles on the island away on a bridge, the Grey away Fox from the city as well. There too, and then Which, that whole story with the countess is nice. The the re- I really like Skingrad too, or so on. But mm. I think the palace at the top of the hill with the vampire count stuff really does weigh it for me. And also, like you know, around it, there's like mm, Glathir you know, and there. stuff. Yeah, Glathir. But if Best you actually player home, if you actually look at the the layout of it. When you go from the Bridge. middle, it's really yeah. it's really plain. There's this big thing running through the middle. I understand why yeah. it's there, but Skingrad in parts looks more city like, but then in other yeah. parts it kind of a little more. But you'd rank it above of... Chaden Hall with the unique architecture, bridges across the water, Dark Brotherhood's yeah. hideout. I think I would just because I really enjoyed being in there, and there's all the rich shops and stuff, and there's the kind of like some of the bars, even when you kind of like go up the stairs and then you go in the door oh, and then yeah. go down. Like yeah, Skin Red's yeah. got a nice layout still. Like don't get me wrong, it's still a top tier. The party city. quests there as well for the Dark Brotherhood. Yeah, I okay. was going to say, would Who Done It be potentially the best, one of the best quests, if not the best quest in the game? One of the best in Skin Red. One of the best. I'm pretty. I, what do you guys think? I generally the way I think is Imperial City, Anvil, Skingrad, and then I would even go to Chaden Chaden Hall, Hall, then Ch- Leowin, Brevil, Bruma, Coral, Kavach. I do also like the statue in Skingrad of, of Rizlav, Rizlav the Righteous being kind of like the former king of Skingrad, who has a really cool story as well. Mm-hmm. It's very fitting for the place. But I, I agree. I would put Anvil above it just because I prefer it. Okay, so the top four. We, we do we all agree that we've got Imperial City, Anvil, Skingrad, and Chaden Hall. Mm-hmm. I think so because Chamber okay, is very too. beautiful too. Yeah, like going is. over it everything, is. Dark Brotherhood right. Sanctuary. Bottom five, and I don't fully agree, but I guess yeah. this will be another we'll moment. Have... It's only because of Bruma, and I tell me if you agree uh, in the comments. But I feel like Bruma was so. If you've played Oblivion before, you played Skyrim, which actually isn't that many people. Surprisingly, we're getting old, but. Uh, tell me if you think Bruma was much cooler before you got a huge overdose of Nordic influence in your life. So the bottom five, as we have it written here, is Leowin, Breville, Bruma, Coral, and Kvatch. I definitely agree with the bottom two. It's those mm-hmm. bottom to middle three that get confused. Can I? I'll put my case forward. Weirdly enough, I'm putting a case forward for Leowin. Like none of these are really particularly my favorite. I like them all, but the reason I like Leowin too. If in weird way it makes it, if maybe we could argue this, maybe I haven't thought it through enough, but it feels the most um, like kind of lived in or city. Like there's here's your little shanty area with the Argonians and Khajiit and so on, and here's like yeah. a like chapel area with the guild and stuff, and then there here's the palace, and then the palace was pretty big from memory, and like I kind of like its situation too. It's like kind of an important area at the bottom of the river, and then the swamp area around it's kind of cool because I like it. it's just oh it's this it's this big city in the middle of the swamp. Whereas Breville looks really like a raggedy rag. It's just not that good but on the side of the river. But that's why it's cool. In the same way, Riften is cool yeah, because it's a but bit it's run down and there's crime there. But Riften's beautiful. Breville's ugly, and I know that's the intention kind of. But I don't yeah. enjoy being in Breville as much as I would even Leowin. But I could be moved by the way. 
on the other things. To me, Coral feels really rural of a city in the way that there's lots of flat space out. There's the one ring where the guilds mm-hmm. are, but then there's like, you, I've never, I never really spent much time. I never went to the, had much reason to go to the palace and coral. And then there's that random like shack where the, the guy, where you get the quest to kill the goblins at the farm with, to get chill rand. Like it's this random shack sort of there. And then there's that other place up towards the chapel. But you know, how you go back towards where Oren, um, sorry, Mordrin, isn't it? The Fighters Guild Dark Elf guy is in his house. Yeah. There. Like, that area, it's just more sort of shacky kind of parts, which I don't mind. I get it's a poorer sort of area, but there's these huge fields of grass behind it and stuff. It just feels a little less... I don't know. Coral feels less lively You, you to don't me. need to justify it. We've all put Coral above Kovach. Bruma, I would say doesn't feel um, necessarily as hyper lively either. It feels like a northern frontiery sort of city kind of thing. And it's dense. Like, I don't know. I just, I prefer the layout of Leowen to Bruma, like the actual like physical okay, okay. walking around. Here's, here's my like, hot take. And we're never going to, you're never going to be convinced. I would put Leowen above Coral. That is my yeah. subjective preference. Definitely. Yeah. I mean, Wait. I mean, di- I mean directly above it. As uh, in, so I, 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 subjectively like Breville and Bruma and the things I did there more. I think I agree. Even though Lewin does have Wait, the local politics you and like, like that. I don't know. I just think I, I would... I yeah, it's fine. I, I completely understand. I have so many good memories in Breville. The Night Mother statue's there. There's the Nightmare Quest with um, Henneteer. I think his name is. Um, there's And the Cur- the Dragol's Axe quest with Curden um, yeah, is one of my favorite there. with Fort Grief. Yeah, I, guess, is, I don't know, but I remember assassinating by, by Adamus Filler, um, Filler and stuff. And the like, only thing I remember about Leowen that I enjoyed. Oh, but all like, I don't know, all and the, the, and the, the Argonian Orc stuff. Dungeon. I didn't like Mizoga the Orc, so that's another thing. Think, yeah. I, I found her to be a bit like... A bit prejudiced. <laughs> well, a bit, bit annoying. <laughs> yeah, no, I was saying you, oh, you don't me. like Orcs. Yeah, nah, I love Orcs. Like, yeah. Drew loves Orcs too. No, I just but found no. it to be a little bit... A bit annoying, although I liked that her armor changed. It was cool to see her in like Daedric when you walk in at a high level and you're like, oh, now you you actually look like how you act. Oh, also the Ever Scamp kind of thing in there, like the stuff. Hey, Ever I didn't Scamp like that it. too. Okay, well, then I think this might just be a bit of a subjective thing too. Yeah, like that's... you don't like those quests, but like even the Mages Guild layouts and stuff, like a lot of the layouts of the houses themselves in Layer One are quite cool and nice. Mm-hmm. So like, um, yeah, I don't know. I just kind of, I kind of liked, um, right, I, I, well, I wouldn't put Layer One above. Below well, this is what we level. need people to rank in the comments. These three cities. One, two, three. Breville, Bruma, and Leowin. Rank those. Breville, Bruma, and Leowin. Yeah, those that, three, put them in the order that they If you wanted to... Like, I, not, I just want to see. I just want to see. It, with that, with yeah. those three, which one people think is the coolest and least coolest. I'm happy to be wrong. I mean, who, who so, really cares? Right. It's, just, it's just interesting. I think our list is pretty good there. Mm-hmm. Now the question is Aldrune. Got Balmora, <laughs> Sadrif Mora, Vivek. and Vivek City. How do we rank those? And do we include Mournhold? <laughs> um, the reason I wouldn't include Mournhold for doing Morrowind is only because when you do go in the Tribunal DLC, you're only going into a small sort of section of it, like the small tiniest bit. Like it's not... Mm-hmm. I Look, if, yeah, it, if it's, it's in the list, it would be the bottom, I think, yeah. because there's not much going on there. I mean, in terms obviously, of if you have Tamriel this. rebuilt and you see it, then yeah. we've used it a lot in videos, but it's... Yeah. it's the the most beautiful city in the Elder Scrolls, but obviously that's not fair. But like I would, my my instinctually, I I really like Vivek City, and I think it's the biggest thing that feels like a city. It's the most city feeling, and when you actually mm-hmm. play like Morrowind back in the day, and like you've got to account for like yeah, okay, in terms of like gameplay, like there's not as many chattering characters as stuff in like future cities and future Bethesda games and stuff, or they don't move around necessarily as much, but walking through when there's all the canals and the ordinators and the boat, you look, you literally have ferrymen that will take you from mm. spot to spot going up to the temple of Vivek. It's got a meteor hanging above it. It's all floating on the water. Yeah. Vivek city. We- I, I would, I would argue, even though I really like Balmora, Balmora is the least interesting of Morrowind cities. Yeah. It's it- just iconic. Yeah, yeah, and because it, you know one it's of the kind first of like places you go. Yeah, and, and I agree. I agree that Vivek is the the clear winner by far. Sadrath Mora is obviously incredibly cool because of 
the architect shot. The, it, it, it will kind of come down between those two out of which you prefer the kind of Redoran style um, architecture versus Telvani. And I really think both are incredible in completely different ways. I've got my take personally. I don't know if you... What do you think I'm thinking? Well, I, I think Aldrun is more interesting, personally. What do, you, what do you think I'm thinking? I think you personally. might agree because of Scar. Mm. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Okay. I actually like Aldrun more because... Another one of those things, but Aldrun feels more like a like a city city. Mm-hmm. If you actually look at the layout of Sadrith Mora, there's the big Telvani tower in the middle and there's the Telvani in there, right? There is a little bit at the port, but then there's the there's the market with the like the slaves and stuff in there. But there's not as much outside of that, it's like this very sort of hilly, rurally kind of feel and so on. And as you go around, it doesn't feel like it doesn't have the same like clustered i guess environment that i like in cities but when you have alderon you've got the walls and the silt strata at this front but then you've got like all of the different houses all around just sort of layering up and then there's a temple over there and then you get up to the mm-hmm. to scar so itself and scar is like deep when you go inside and there's lots yeah. going on so I so think what's your what's your what's your ranking then i would go for vex city alderon sadrith mora balmora at the bottom agreed yeah Okay. Any differences, Michael? Would, would you agree with that? Do you prefer Sadra? I would... Yeah, well, again, it just gets back into, like, are we talking about rating it on a city or... And I suppose we are. I think that's important I just, I just love... Uh, I just have a big love for Sadra Mora. Because if you were probably, going, like... I would the... probably put it above it. Yeah. Yeah, I just... I, well, I mean, look... I, I understand I, I love the reasoning. classic rhetoric. Um, the classic rhetoric architecture, too, is really cool. That's, dude, at the end of the day, I think... I think Morrowind has the best cities of them all in terms of um, concept. The closest mm-hmm. that we've come since, I think, is Markarth because it's like, oh, Dwemer ruins something interesting. But but beyond that, like Aldron has a giant. A, the architecture is already interesting, but then there's this giant crab, the uh, the council chambers and stuff you go into. Instant, like, what the hell's that? You got Vivek City, these pontoon cities with a living god there and a floating meteor that is also doubles as a jail for heretics. Mm-hmm. Like, and then you've got, um, uh, you know, giant mushroom towers and Sadrith Mora and so on. Balmora, you could argue, is a bit more of a standard sort of city, but it's already got interesting that, like, packed, tightly packed Tatooine kind of vibe buildings. Yeah. And, like, it's cool. Like, man. Anyway. Mor- Morrowind so- in atmosphere. Mm-hmm. The best. Well... I suppose it's time well, for Daggerfall. I was just. <laughs> <laughs> I've got all the Daggerfall cities up right now. Is it Sentinel S- City? <laughs> Is it Syntaki City? Cathago City? I, I can't Is even. Glenumbra or Glenpoint City? Which is you it? can't even do them. I just they just don't look like that oh, anymore. I think you could do them, but they look so similar. I think we could do them. Because what well, we've I all mean, got well, whatever they experience. Experience. <laughs> they've just been overwritten by ESO. The thing is, That's we've got right. so much experience so. of playing the Elder Scrolls Two Daggerfall that mm-hmm. we should have some strong mm-hmm. opinions yeah. mm-hmm. and takes okay. on this. Well, if you don't want to, uh, if you don't want to do Daggerfall, would you like to wrap up, Scott? Oh, I'll pass it off to Drew for a change. Drew, it's your turn. <laughs> well, actually, I wanted to talk about Creation Club. And uh, we can <laughs> maybe, out. <laughs> let's rank all the creations, or let's, is that for another week? That's for another another time. Oh, you guys! Oh, you wanted to end it, Michael. Another time, then. <laughs> 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 yeah, let's do a never-ending podcast, boys. I'm down. Oh my god, ten-hour live stream? Question <laughs> mark. <laughs> 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 All right, well, Michael really wanted to end it up and so on. Is there no Creation Club ranking this Michael, episode? Michael, can you stop texting me so you got to go out? <laughs> My hands are in the air. My hands are in the air. All right. Here. Well, this turned into a longer podcast. We included... I'm still going to call it Ranking Skyrim Cities. Yeah, for views! And then we're just going to do the bonus ones. But yeah. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, that's all. Subscribe for more. Like the video if you enjoyed. And we will see you next time. <laughs>